violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. We have new details tonight on a pastor arrested after first responders reported finding several people locked in the basement of his home. Well, now police have also arrested that pastor's wife. They are both accused of operating an unlicensed personal care home for the disabled and poor. Wow. Like I said, man, this, <laughs> this is why we don't go to church no more. This is why the black community has basically stopped going to church, especially the men. Um, and now all you see is single mothers and children in the church. This is the reason, because the leaders, a lot of times in the community, they, they're corrupt in some way, whether they're mishandling the tithes and offerings, or you know maybe they are um, infidels themselves, adulterers themselves, and in, in, in preaching the word. So there are so many contradictions that a lot of these uh, pastors um, have. And it's not just black pastors, it's white pastors alike. But um, a lot of times when you do see these white churches, um, <clears throat> they built it up to a level where, you know, they're, they're making so much bread that, of course, they're going to be able to give off char charity and stuff like that because they got so much money coming in. But um, when you see a lot of these black purchase churches like Baptist Church AMEs, you know, they, they've done pretty well for themselves as well. But um, there's still a whole bunch of those small churches and, and the pastors are pretty much, um, I would say they're like little kings in their cities, you know. Now the suspects are vowing to fight the charges, insisting they have been helping people, not abusing them. Our John Shearick spoke with the pastor tonight and joins us now live from Griffin. And his attorney is the one who did the talking on camera, but he says he's just trying to provide a badly needed service for the forgotten, the disabled, the poor here in Griffin and beyond and wishes police would support him and his wife so they wouldn't have to shut down. Pastor Curtis Bankston fights back tears with community supporters. His wife, Sophia, just arrested and now in jail one week after Griffin police arrested him. They are dumbfounded, he says, through their attorney at the allegations against them. <laughs> this man is finna spin this whole situation. He finna spin the whole situation. Watch. Absolutely no false imprisonment, no kidnapping. Attorney Dexter Wimbish says the Bankstons have been operating a personal care home in the basement of their home for just over a year, taking in wards of the state and others, disabled, <laughs> poor, homeless. There were seven people living here as of last week. Wimbish says the Bankstons have repaired the bolt lock that police say kept residents inside against their will. They were free to come and go as as they please. No one was kept, held hostage. And Wimbish says the Bankstons should have gotten a local license to operate the facility inside their home, and they will. But then he showed canceled checks and other documents that he says prove the Bankstons are providing a genuine and necessary nonprofit service for people that too few others offer. Uh, you're not talking about somebody uh, profit. Wow. So. It looks like he might have good intentions. Um, maybe the city might be upset with him. The city of Griffin, Georgia might be upset with him because he didn't get him licensed um, and, and the word got out. Or maybe there are accurate complaints about the way he's running this thing. But, I mean, if you're taking on that many transients, it, it, it can't be that clean, huh? off of the backs of the poor you're talking about somebody who's actually doing what god commanded us to do the reverend joseph wheeler of the national action network in henry and clayton counties says he's worked with the bankstons for 30 years they're not criminals they are caring for the vulnerable among us in this community and other communities six of the seven residents have been placed with other services but shun taylor is still there it's a safe quiet environment and i can Take my medicine and eat my food in peace. 
Okay, well, you know, that's that's what we need to see. The people who have complaints stepping up and, and giving testimony. It looks like this guy's having a decent time here. So it's it's probably more about documentation than anything. Um, it doesn't look like this guy was super ne negligent and, and really trying to um, hold these people hostage. It looks like he did have a genuine heart in this. Take care of me. Griffin police continue to investigate and say more charges are possible. The state is also investigating this personal care home. Jennifer. John, thank you for that update. Tonight. Elderly and disabled people held captive in a locked basement. A pastor's been arrested. Investigators say that he and his wife were running some sort of illegal group home. Channel 2's Tyson Fernandez live in Spal. Dang, I mean, <laughs> the way that they're framing it, bro, like... Locked in a basement, holding them hostage. It sounds like some real crazy type of stuff, but I don't know. The, I don't know. Let's let's just see. Alden County tonight, Griffin and Ty, knew this hour you have been looking into the couple's background. Justin, the couple says they were running a church in Atlanta, but you're about to see video of that church. It looks pretty abandoned. Now, police say the pastor and his wife are actually spending their time here in Griffin, running an illegal senior home, having at least eight elderly folks locked in this basement. What do you know about the elderly people being imprisoned in the basement? We saw someone go in and out of this Griffin home on Valley Road Wednesday, but no one would answer the door. According to police, this pastor, Curtis Bankston, and his wife were holding eight elderly people captive locked in the basement. <laughs> so it looks like he said that he was a pastor in Atlanta. Um, the church that he was supposed to be pastoring is a bando, basically. And he's got eight people locked in the basement. Now, six or seven of those people have went to a different home. And the um, quasi-paraplegic guy gave a testimony and said that it was a safe environment for him to take his meds. Now, I'm not saying that guy's lying. Maybe he got paid off. Maybe not. I have no clue. Maybe he's friends with the pastor. Maybe he has some type of supervisory role or managerial role or, 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 or some type of leadership role in the whole thing. I have no clue. But this one's a tricky one. I'm a, I definitely want to hear from the other people who, you know, say they were locked in the basement. They're accused of running an illegal <laughs> senior home for over a year. Police arrested the pastor and charged him with seven counts of false imprisonment. He says he runs this church, One Step of Faith, Second Chance in Atlanta. But it looks abandoned. Damn. Yeah, that's a bando with broken windows and a roof that's falling apart. Neighbors in Griffin had a feeling something here wasn't right. Well, we knew something was wrong because we knew there's a lot of police, a lot of emergency calls that we didn't find anything about. There was an ambulance here last Thursday when someone called 911 and reported someone here having a seizure. EMS couldn't get to the person because the basement door was deadbolted. Dang. Now that's wild. Now you know you wrong for that, Pastor. You know you wrong for that. That's what made EMS call Griffin Police. How can you do this? I mean, people today, they're heartless, they're godless. We spoke to the daughter of an 80-year-old victim. Wow. So she said, here we go. The daughter of one of the victims is coming out. And she said that old Pastor is heartless and godless. It may look like this pastor is a super gremlin on demon times. How can you do this? I mean, people today, they're heartless, they're godless. We spoke to the daughter of an 80-year-old victim. She has her father somewhere safe now, but said she can't believe a pastor and his wife would take advantage of people this way. There's no way in the world they can ever tell me anything um, of any type of remorse because it took time to do this. It took care and planning to do this. This was fraud. This was life endangerment. Mm. So you heard it. You heard it straight from Sus. She she's telling it how it is. Now the pastor has been arrested facing seven counts of false imprisonment and police say charges are coming 
for the pastor's wife. Investigators believe the couple had control of the elderly folks' finances. They were withholding their medications and not giving them the medical care they needed. Dang. Well, there you have it. <laughs> I tried, Pastor. I tried to. I tried to. I tried to be on your side, Pastor. But you know, <laughs> looking like you a super gremlin now, and I, I don't associate myself with super gremlins. We're live here in Spalding County in Griffin. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News. It is hard to comprehend some of this, Ty, thank you. Griffin police say they've arrested the wife of a pastor accused of running an unlicensed group home. The people living there, all adults with disabilities. Investigators believe the couple used faith to exploit the victims, gaining total control of their finances while keeping their residents locked in the basement. Tonight, CBS 46's Crystal Bowie talked with one of the residents living with the pastor and his wife. Crystal, he says that this is all a misunderstanding. The resident did say that he claims there was no wrongdoing to him or anyone else inside the house, but the first responders who arrived say it is a different story. Pastor Curtis Bankston and his wife, Sophia Sim Bankston, both arrested in connection to false imprisonment charges. Curtis Bankston, bailed out of jail, now standing with his lawyer, denying the allegations, saying he was trying to do good. People out here have no place to live, and we just want to push them aside. Yeah, and then right. when this man that's and right. his family takes them into his home, mm -hmm. he lives upstairs. But Griffin police... <laughs> wow. When you got the attorney sounding like a pastor, you know you in trouble say this wasn't an act of service. It was a crime. Eight individuals found by first responders inside the basement that was double keyed deadbolted, according to police incident reports. Bankston's lawyer says this was all circumstantial. That is poor judgment. Mm -hmm. uh, it is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. It is likely a violation of a, a local ordinance, mm -hmm. but it is not kidnapping and it is not false imprisonment. However, police say the individuals have been denied their medications and, in some instances, medical care as well. So we got one guy saying it was a safe place to take his medication, but everybody else is not of the same sentiment. Bankston's lawyer asked a resident inside the home to speak in their defense. Man, give me a, a safe place, a good environment. And what I will say about this brother right here um I, I don't think he means any harm specifically but he probably ain't came from nothing so he's like look the fact that i'm in this house and i've been on the street i'm good that's a calm feeling for my life be able to see my kids and call them without being harassed or being in trouble While many of the residents have now been removed from the home and placed into different housing, Griffin police are still looking for more information in this case. Reporting live in Griffin tonight, Crystal Bowie, CBS 46 News. And Pastor and his wife are under investigation by local and state authorities after fire responders discovered elderly people locked inside the basement of their home. As Fox Files' Doug Evans reports, that pastor is charged with false imprisonment as the investigation continues. From outward appearances, everything seems perfectly normal at this Griffin home on Valley Road. Neighbors tell Fox 5 the house had unusually large amounts of trash to pick up, but everything else appeared okay. Things seemed generally fine. Um, have not noticed anything, like I said, other than the trash. Griffin police say they've arrested Curtis Bankston, the homeowner, who they say is a local pastor at a church called... And, you know... <laughs> They probably didn't think much was going on because if you go into the community, there's trash all over the place. So I think people kind of assume that, hey, we have a lot of trash. And <laughs> this woman was unassuming. She, she was unaware of what was going on because she's just like, oh, you know, maybe they're a little junky. But other than that, no big, huge red flags, right? But this man, <laughs> you could tell he just one of them old Southern hustlers and he's he's been able to get to where he's at 
not by necessarily doing things the right way, but doing things the street smart way. And in turn, you're endangering the lives of elderly people um, and their, you know, their, their sanctity, their emotional stability and bringing on a whole bunch of <clears throat> a whole bunch of awareness to what you got going on because you're dealing with people's family. One step of faith, second chance. He's accused of false imprisonment. First responders were called to the home last Thursday because of a person having a seizure. EMS says they discovered eight individuals locked in the basement against their will in what state investigators now say was an unlicensed care home. Police say Bankston and his wife had control of the individual's finances and medications. State investigators have been called in because of what police deemed neglect and abuse that they say was both frightening and disgusting. Apparently the residents weren't always locked in. Kim Brooks says she recently assisted one of them. The individual that was lost was an, was an elderly man and um, he was on a walker, pushing a walker. And so he's trying to manage, and it's, it's at night, so he's trying to manage um, being able to see where he's going and the streets can get kind of dark. And so I just used my flashlight and we just walked together down to the house and I showed him where it was. No charges have been filed. So that's the guy who is, um, that that guy on the walker is is probably the guy who stayed at the home and is probably vouching for him because now he got that whole basement to himself. So he's probably happy. Filed against the pastor's wife. Police say the investigation is continuing. In Griffin, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. Gang violence. 